All right, guys. I know I just did a video a few seconds ago, but Sam Dog the Infamous Two Five Three back again. Now, I kind of want to give my thoughts on the hiring of Shane Waldron as our new offensive coordinator. First off, Greg Bell said Seahawks are planning on hiring Rams passing coordinator, game passing game coordinator Shane Waldron as a new offensive coordinator. He said help plan Sean McVay's run-based play action, short and quick passing game in LA. Now. And then that that was Greg Bell saying what Greg Bell said. And then one of the other things I saw was Jay Keatsway said that he received received a text from a source from the staff with the LA Rams saying this is a bigger loss for us than people realize, and Shane is a great match for Russ. For me, basically, with what all these thoughts are saying, for me, I usually wait to see how the product runs in the new system when the eye test comes, and hopefully by next season everything will be back to normal and we can get that preseason. But for me. Usually when we have a new guy in a new system, wait to see how that product plays in that new system and how it works out in the, in the eye test. But for me, seeing that he did not, you know, the only time he did offensive coordinator shit when he was an offensive coordinator was when he was coaching high school ball. But another thing I saw that was a little bit intriguing on it was what Greg Bell, text, what Greg Bell tweeted. And he said, Rams have taken the six fewest, fewest and eighth fewest sacks the last three years with Shane Waldron as LA's quick pass game coordinator. Now, hopefully, for his effect, hopefully he can get Russell to get rid of the ball faster. But we need targets to be open on like quick, quick plays. You know, hopefully we can get some easy design plays. Cause I like what I saw when, you know, this is the kind of offense I want us to do. I want us to do exactly kind of like what the Packers did to the Rams in the playoff game where they were doing the quick plays and the short passes. Even on third and short, they were just going and getting the first down and keeping their drives alive. And when in our game, even when it was third and short, we just went too long. You know, we don't we don't have to freaking go for the deep ball every time when it's a third and short. I'm, I'm one of those guys that likes to keep, you know, the drives alive. But Hopefully this guy isn't as too predictable isn't isn't predictable like Schottenheimer was getting, you know, like Schottenheimer was cuz Schottenheimer's plays were too predictable and we need hopefully we can change the predictableness of our offense from what it was and hopefully become an unpredictable offense but <sighs> I sure hope we know what we're doing with this but hopefully Russell was involved with this hiring process. I know Russell wanted to be involved with the hiring process for our next OC after the whole Schottenheimer getting fired thing happened. So, And Russell said he wanted to be involved with that. But also, let's just hope for the best. But for me, I'm not going to get too far into it until I see how the product plays in the system when we get the eye test in August. So that's basically my thoughts. But... Yes, welcome Shane Waldron. Let's just hope for the best and just had to get my thoughts out there really quick. Give me your thoughts on the hiring too. I know I posted some things in my community post, some of the tweets about it, but yeah. I know people wanted to get my thoughts eventually. I was thinking about trying to do another video with Brendan Nelson later on to try to get a better understanding of it, but you know, just watch his videos and just, you know, get the usual thoughts because, whew. Like for me, I just hope I just hope we we're better this year, man. We just got to be better on offense, especially for a full season and not just and not just one half of the season. I wanted a full season this time around. Anyway, catch y'all in the next video. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. As always, go Seahawks.